What's up everyone? My name is Justin Furtado and I want to tell you a little bit more about me and the impact that people have had upon me but also the impact I feel like I have already had on the world but just a little bit more about my story really. So a lot of my values stem from being from a very small town, very small community and I went to a K through 8 with only 120 students. So with that being said, a lot of my actions were felt by everyone whether they were positive or negative. So if I was a bully, not only would it affect the person that I was, you know, targeting, but it would also affect everyone around me. And I really learned at a young age kind of our actions have impacts and I also learned, you know, because of the way the school was designed, we were able to mentor, like if you were in fifth grade, you mentored, mentored kindergartners, and if you were like in eighth grade, you mentored fifth graders, so it was always this like giving back spirit, this mentorship spirit, and we had to, you know, complete 10 hours of community service before we graduated eighth grade, and of course, you know, when you're an eighth grader, that's not exactly what you want to be doing, but it planted a seed into my mind for community values, for serving others, for being a mentor, and really wanting to give back and make my community a better place, and that my actions are really felt everywhere I go. So those are an early start to my values, and also with that, I sports were, were my life, you know, um, until I was, you know, graduated high school so I had a wonderful sports experience was able to play on uh, travel teams for baseball and basketball and with that I was able to you know have the opportunity to play in, in high school for both sports and one of the things is basketball actually taught me I actually was cut from the varsity basketball team my junior year and that was very difficult because I put in a lot of work and it, it was very discouraging, you know, when you put on a lot of work in something and, and it doesn't come to fruition. But I ended up coming back the following summer and being able to make the varsity team. And e even though I didn't get to play a lot of minutes, it's very in instrumental into who I am now as a coach and being able to to be around the game. And I was just really a cheerleader. I was a number. I was a person always off the bench, you know, high fiving people. And that's who I was in baseball as well. Always encouraging others. I was being. I was very vocal um, and really wanted to always be encouraging my teammates and and firing people up, getting the most out of people. And I was able to win the most inspirational award five times for for whatever that means. You know, sometimes it was just being a goofball and making people laugh, but really always just trying to you know bring people together I was I was definitely a glue person in terms of like as a as a community person I really want to bring people together I'm I lead with a lot of empathy and I, I'm, I'm a connector or relator and can connect people into different kind of worlds which kind of pushed me forward when I when I eventually moved to college and was it really able to kind of you know practice a lot of, of, of what I had learned you know I was able to join the Holden Center leadership for community engagement and get involved in the Eugene community which led me to the Boys and Girls Club where it really opened my world to working with youth and, and human development and I love how humans grow and I've always been so interested in personal growth, personal development. I was that weird dude that when it was like reggae on the river, I was reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and, and a friend asked, you know, that's what that's what my mom reads. Why are you reading that, right? It's like, what, why is this dude at a, at a music festival reading that? It's just something that I've always kind of nerded out about. And it's been something that I really, I really love and, and really enjoy. And it brings me, you know, so much passion. And I love seeing other people, which, really you know during the pandemic and and of course there are multiple things in in college about one second here filming in los angeles you never know what's going to happen so continuing on you know just in, in college I was able to get it gain a lot of leadership experience with my fraternity as a new member educator working with you know uh, college students and I was a first year program student. So again working with younger college students always mentoring always giving back and I just love love watching people develop and grow over time it's one of my my biggest joys and so with that I another thing that just you know fires me up is I got into coaching basketball which is where I'm at today I'm actually a basketball coach today and I'm continuing to learn and grow and, and, and actually try and, and dive deeper into you know coaching basketball I would love to coach varsity basketball one day and really I know I'm I'm capable of doing it because I, I am a coach I bring the best out of people and I really am I'm a connector I actively listen and, and that's something that I, I really truly value.
So with that being said, I, you know, for the past couple of years, been working on the Better World Challenge and now Impact, and really trying to, bo boiling it down, combine my love for human development and also like service and human impact and giving back and, and it being a little bit more than just like your typical personal development. That's why we're really working on impact, leadership impact development because I feel like leadership makes makes a world of a difference. So it's a little bit more about me, a little bit more about my story, why I want to make an impact and really the reason that I have, I'm putting all this content out is and you made it to this point. So my ask for you is let's connect number one so send me a message here um, send me an email let's connect I want to meet I just want to meet as many people as I can right now especially leaders coaches teachers people really interested in human development I just want to connect with you and learn from you and be a, and have that opportunity I'm also want to put my reps in as a, as a coach you know I don't want to I, I want to differentiate myself in terms of like I, I I want my coaching in terms of impact and leadership, but right now I just I just want to offer my mentorship. So reach out to me if you're you want to just you know run over how can I, how can I live a more impactful life? I want to help you live a more impactful life, not how from how I see it, but from where you see it. Like that's where we can really make some strides together. So if you want to number one connect with me, if you want to mentor, and if you want to do workshops for your team, your organization, your school. It's an opportunity to fusing together like strengths, what you're passionate about, and the impact that we want to make. And it's really an opportunity to eventually write your impact mission statement, which is you know, something that you can articulate in terms of, here's how I want to make an impact in the world. And of course, we're really nuanced and complex, but sometimes it's great to have that, that thing right in front of us that says, this is who we're about this shows who we are so if you're interested in any of those just just connecting number one if you're interested in my mentorship my coaching number two and number three if you're interested in a workshop please reach out all three I'm just trying to connect meet some great humans and go from there so I appreciate y'all and continue exploring through the video or the website not the video it's okay to make mistakes right it's just okay to make mistakes it doesn't need to be perfect